So I am definitely, definitely addicted to this game. I cannot get off of it. <laughs> I really can't. So I'm basically recording, editing, rendering, uploading, and then the cycle sort of begins again. I cannot get off this game. And that's a very good sign, I guess. If you guys could be awesome, leave your likes below, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, follow me over on Twitter, doing a couple of giveaways. I'm currently using the Cyberpunk 2077 controller, Xbox controller which I'm also giving away. So, we are in Smithfield, the dam. Um, we are trying to get to this watchtower here. Then we're going to try and grab this upgrade. And then we're going to try and grab this. Yes. The International Transtar 4070A. That is our goal. That is the goal right now. And yes, we are driving the Khan 39. What? A vehicle. We went across that river like it wasn't even there. That bit of... Is, it, is this a lake? It's more of a lake, isn't it? Yeah. I guess so. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what the difference between a river and a lake or a stream or a... Yeah. Anyway. I've just noticed we've only just left the garage. So I've done a tiny bit of travelling outside of the video. So I've gone from the garage to here. And I've used... What's that? 13 litres? is quite a bit and i want to do quite a I, I keep running out of fuel it doesn't it didn't seem to be an issue before episode seven and now i just keep having issues with fuel i just keep running out i guess i'm getting a little bit more adventurous i'm sort of uh pushing the boat out a little bit i'm trying to travel get things done and the fuel just keeps on running out i honestly thought there, there should be a penalty for recovering to so say you recover your vehicle has no fuel for example you should pay a penalty for that nothing like over the top but i feel like it's like an easy way out i'm gonna recover simple one press vehicle returns to your garage done anyway watchtower number one first task out of the way let's see what we find we promoted really are you kidding I thought I was really far off. What? I didn't know that. Okay. Upgrade location discovered. I mean, oh, there's another one. Ooh, okay, didn't know that. So should we change? Ooh, what do we do? What do we do? Hmm, <laughs> I can't decide now. I reckon we get this upgrade first because we're sort of roughly in the right area. And then maybe try and get that one. I don't know. I can't believe we're level 6. We've unlocked so much stuff. So much stuff. We must have literally just creeped in. Very cool. Yeah, I'm going to clear that. I want to get back to this path here. And then get to there. And then we just like climb up. Let's follow the trail, my friends. This has got a whole lot more interesting. I do find this vehicle can roll over fairly easily. Especially if you're going a little bit too quick. It gets a bit bumpy. It can easily roll. I've done it maybe twice while I wasn't recording. It can definitely happen, believe me. I never lie. I never lie. No, no, no. Just realised the, the left stick. You can sort of zoom in and out. I didn't realise. <laughs> I was like, well, that's cool. You can just go right in if you want to. It's quite cool though. You can sort of see the suspension moving. All the nook and crannies, the little flaps at the back. The mud guards. There's a camp to the left. And a tunnel to the right. So that leads towards that. Island Lake. Which is quite a long way actually. The upgrade is basically... Hmm. You try and get a little bit closer. And then climb for it, basically. I'm getting this upgrade. I want this to be a very, very productive episode. So we've now used up 20 litres. The tank in this vehicle is not big. That's why I would like the ability to maybe upgrade them a little bit. Like a bigger tank on top, maybe, or something. A secondary tank. I don't know. Get upgrade! Ooh, engageable. Nice. So that might be for that hummer that truck that we got. I think it's a GMC or something like that, or GMS. We got it in the 
last area. Um, so it might be for that. I can actually look at the list. I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't look at the list. <laughs> because I'm stupid. Right, do we make a, a beeline for this? Or do we try and get this upgrade over here? 400 meters and... So far is this? <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I can always go back and get that. It's not far away from the garage, to be honest. It's pretty much go along this asphalt, go down this little trail here and get it. It's quite easy. So maybe we go for the truck first. I think that's a good shout. Yeah. So we are going to follow this down. So just keep going down. And then ideally, if we can, see this like slight break in the trees. If we can try and then sprint down here across the water. All we've got to do is recover it. Not actually repair it, so that's positive. Yeah, that'd be great if we can get another vehicle on board. That'd be fantastic. Let's get to it. Yeah, you can see obviously it doesn't burn as much fuel. I was saying that. What's that? Six litres? It seems to go up and down. As soon as you accelerate a tiny bit, the litres just goes up massively. To fluctuate a lot. Again, this has got the improved engine in, which cost about two thousand dollars, but it's definitely worth it. It's it's very quick, but you just got to try and control the throttle, control the power, be patient with it. Right, so we got to the first nav point. Do I make a left here? No, I keep going for now. Keep following the trail. I swear that grass just grew in front of me. Magic. Also like how incredibly high the snorkel is. It's so high up. I guess in case of splashes and stuff. If any water gets inside the engine bay, it's generally pretty, pretty bad. Especially with the amount of electronics in most modern cars. You are definitely screwed. Water engines don't go. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> don't roll. Please don't do that. That's the only real issue. Fuel and rolling. That's the, that's the main issues, really. Right. So I, I mean, this is the quickest route. It depends how severe the, uh, the plummet is. It looks pretty severe to me. I might have to give it a go. Mainly just due to the fuel. I can get through those. I'm not getting around that way. That looks like a pretty severe drop. We'll have a little nosy. See what we think. Ooh. Can we get down there? I think that's possible. Just got to be very careful on the bricks. I can see the truck. I can see it. I can definitely see it. I can see it. Okay, this is this is this is a good route. I like this route. Just be careful with the rocks. Take your time. Slam the brakes on. Just let the car roll. 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 Don't accelerate. Just roll. We made it! I see the truck. Yes. Come to Papa. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Please. Please, 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 please. Yes. I found it. Woo. Good job. Good job. Right, can we switch? Oh, yes. I mean, that is completely damaged. That is a proper, that is a proper, like, truck lorry puller. I know exactly what I'm talking about. So I think that's more for the highways, I would say. I guarantee once it gets up and running, though, it will be quick. I am... This is very cool. Very cool. We're going to recover it. Oh, it's got a good horn. Wait, inside doesn't... Oh, he does do it, I was going to say. Yeah! <laughs> 
Right, let's recover it. I'm so happy. It's so good. Yeah, so in terms of customization, so I guess, yeah, I guess off road it's not going to be great. It's really not. This is definitely a truck for the highway. It could probably go over some slight rough terrain, but yeah, it's not. It's not ideal. Oh, 7,500 for an engine upgrade. Ouch! Ouchy, ouchy. So you've got all terrain tires available now. So that's cool. And that will help out a little bit. But still, it, it would be a struggle. A massive struggle. Oh, look at these add ons. So is that a bigger flatbed? I don't think it is. I think it's pretty much the same. Again, okay, it's more yeah, it's more for you wanna put a saddle on it and you wanna you wanna go. That's ideally what you want. It does have a snorkel. <laughs> if you want a snorkel you can. Exhaust is stock and that's all you can get. Cabin aircon. Jesus. Really? <laughs> it does actually look quite cool. A proper like aircon unit. I've actually got an aircon unit in my my room now. It's actually quite rare in the UK to have aircon in your house. I've got it in my office, and that's it. But it feels it's so good, it's so good. So the international Transtar, we can actually sell it for about thirty three thousand dollars, which is pretty decent. But to be honest, I've not really seen anything that I want to get yet. Unless you guys have any recommendations, I'm all ears, hundred percent. But yeah, there's nothing really that stands out right now to be honest so we get to level 12 maybe or ooh, ooh, heavy so that's uh all-wheel drive it does have diff lock actually it's always on so that would be 127,000. ouch ouch uh the pace start 5070 which is an actual off-road truck that could be quite tempting should i get any recommendations are welcome right now, to be honest. I just don't want to waste my money. Island Lake, we have arrived. Yes, we have. Uh, so where do we start? Do we try and go to the fuel carrier again? And try and nick some fuel? Or do we go to this watchtower? We need to get to a watchtower. That, that That's the goal right now. I think we should try and get some fuel. So literally go on exactly the same path. We I don't know. I'm not debating. Hmm... Should I make a beeline for this this watchtower first? Yeah, I do that. And then if I need fuel still, I will come back. Let's do that. So navigation here, there, there, and then here. Watchtower right in the middle of the map. Let's get to it. This time, ideally, we don't get stuck and run out of fuel. That's that's the goal right now. We got. A Fair amount of fuel ish. About a third left. Ooh. Don't roll it, don't roll it. <laughs> that would be super embarrassing. Uh what's this what's this? Is there a bridge here? Wonder what it is. Um drilling site, which is apparently over there. What is it? What do you need? Tough negotiations. Okay. Ah, wooden planks. There must be a bridge up there. Got it. I'm pretty sure I've, I've seen a, a lumber mill somewhere on the map. Somewhere. Ideally, what we want to find now is another truck. So it adds to our garage. And then we have a garage here. And we have a truck here. That's the dream. Ah. So it looks like we need to go this way. And then we go up. Got it. I know where I'm going. I'm a navigational expert. Up here, yeah? Yeah. And the watchtower should be within sight. At least I hope so. Good word I can't see it yet. Oh, there it is. I see it, I see it. Get out of the way, trees. We've made it! Yay! Hopefully there's a garage close by. 
Is that it? Bridge the gap and that's all we've found? Are you kidding me? Uh, what is that? Wooden planks again. Okay. Log station over there. Hmm. I reckon we now... We have to... Try and get some fuel. I don't know if this even works. If you go to the fuel carrier... I'm, actually, I'm pretty sure it does work. So we're going to try and grab some fuel. And we can keep on exploring. Yes! Can we transfer the fuel, please? Yes! Refuel! Oh, we were so close! So close, so close in the last episode. That is a tiny bit annoying. There we go. So we're now going to make a beeline for the watchtower over here. Let's do it. Let's try and open up this map. Again, Michigan is so much bigger than I expected. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Right, this is where we got stuck last time, so... We need to be a little bit careful. We are slightly skinnier, even with these massive tires. Or not. Whoa, that was... I don't, I don't like that bit. That bit scares me. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah, lumber mill definitely down there. Which is... We seem to need that resource a lot around here, so... It's good that we know where it is. That's a positive. And I can definitely see the watchtower in the distance. Hey, people! How are you doing? You are... You literally live in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. A warehouse. Ooh, that would be interesting. So we're going to loop round. So we turn right here. Yeah, I think that's the best bet. Let's get to this watchtower. I think I've just seen another trailer. Is this the right way? Yeah. So just the warehouse. I think so. Oh, they sell trailers. Ah, uh, fair enough. So you want money, do you? Of course you do. Everybody wants money. What's that in the distance? No, it might be a vehicle. It's not. This just got muddy all of a sudden. Been very wet. Watchtower number two. Come to Papa. We've made it! All we've done is found Rusty Legacy. Yay! All of you. <laughs> there's not a bunch to look at, really. So, yeah, there's a trailer here. A fuel carrier again. I did think I saw one. And we have a sideboard semi trailer. I guess we keep going, we keep exploring. We fuel up, we keep going. We want to try and find vehicles. We want to find the garage, of course. I'm guessing there's a garage here. I would imagine so. You'd think so, wouldn't you? So we need to go... Yeah, fuel up first. Let's do that first, and then we'll work out the route. Fuel... I know we haven't lost much litres, but... Yeah, we're going to do a fair amount of exploring in this episode. I love how this game is about exploration, navigation... And deliveries. There's a lot to it. And man, is there a lot to explore. Serious amount to explore. So this is a, a smaller one. But it should still let us fuel up. Trailer store. Can we fuel up? Got some XP for it as well. Refuel. So we are going to this watchtower just here. So we're going to go through the lumber mill. That's what I'm guessing it is anyway. Go that way and then we're going to navigate along here to this watchtower. It seems to basically cover up a massive part of the map. I still can't believe how big this map is. I'm still in utter shock. There's so much to it. There's so many quests to do. There's so much to explore. Ah, this needs um, to be fixed. Oh. I'm pretty sure we can still cross it. Hopefully. He says. Again, how can you have a lumber mill and not have any way to get across? How does that make any business sense? I don't get it. I don't get it. I took one of the most extreme scouting vehicles to get across. And even then, it was the slowest pace you can ever think of. How's, 
How? How? <laughs> Get that fixed. You literally have wood everywhere. Just fix it. Fix it yourself. Still waiting for me to come and help you out. So we uh, exit through here. I see loads of wood. Everyone find a truck, actually. As long as it goes off-road, I'll take it. I'll take anything right now. But I have a very tiny feeling there's not going to be a truck here. Or at least I'm not going to find one. Because that would make my life too easy, wouldn't it? This ain't going to happen. So again, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going straight. I want to see if we can spot the watchtower. The trees are actually very, very high. It's going to be hard to spot it. We should spot it eventually. Uh, ooh, actually. That was lucky. So yeah, we need to turn left here. And then go up there. Perfect. Got it. I see a trailer. What's it got on it? Metal planks. Interesting. The watchtower should spot that for us, so... That's fine. Hold in for fuel. 55 litres. Plenty. Plenty of fuel. I think these are probably the episodes I enjoy most. Just exploring. Finding new areas on the map. I just really like doing this. With this vehicle as well. There it is. I see it. I see the watchtower. Turn left, turn left, turn left. There we go. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I may have just slightly tapped a tree. It was a love tap. Made it. Woo! We did it. Signal from the mountain. Doesn't seem to be... Oh, there's an upgrade over there. And... Oh, a fuel carrier. Okay. So maybe we go back first then. So get the upgrade, get the fuel. What I'll do is get the upgrade first and then get the fuel because that makes more sense. And then make a beeline for another watchtower. We are exploring, my friends. We are definitely exploring. That's for sure. Thank you, watchtower. Appreciate it. Oh, I wonder if the next Far Cry game is going to have watchtowers. That'd be interesting because it gets a lot of a um, little bit of heat for doing that watchtower thing every time. It's a little bit predictable, and I have heard Ubisoft wants to change how they approach future games. They have to be different in some way, not just so gen generic. Ubisoft games. They, they don't want any more. Which is, um, which makes sense. Uh, actually, I think we might have almost gone past it. Yep. Is it up there? I guess I can see it. A slight trail through there? Alright. I mean, that wasn't obvious, but... Not every road in this game is going to be obvious. Again, oh, I, keep, I keep forgetting we haven't found a garage yet. <laughs> that's, that's like the essential thing we need right now. Because if something happens, we're going all the way back. That would be a complete waste. Upgrade is just there. Oh, what happened there? I wasn't even paying attention. This went straight into a tree. Whoopsie! Right, what do we get? What do we get? Ooh. So that is engageable all wheel drive, I think, or differential. Yeah, differential. Um, show truck list. There we go. The White Western Star 4964. Not a massive upgrade, but it's useful to grab anyway. Can we. This, sound, this is going to be so stupid if I do this. Can I go down here? See that slight gap in the rock? Can I make it to the fuel carrier? I'll probably make it, but I'll smash into the fuel carrier and everybody dies. So, yeah. 
Let's have a look. It's just here. It's all tempted to give it a go just for the lols, but it could definitely end in tears. Uh, I don't like the look of that. There is honestly no way that's going to work. Why am I still doing it then? I don't know. Because I'm stupid. Oh god, oh god. What am I doing with my life? Great, yeah, now what? Oh, no. I mean, that was never going to end well. Oh, here we go. Oh. Damn it. No. 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 Stop. Stop. Oh, shoot. No, I thought it was going to... I, I, I found it, though. Great. Great job, Scott. Fantastic. When? How is that ever going to go well? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Ah. Uh... Great. Refuel? <laughs> I could refuel from here. Yay! Great stuff. Oh, poop. Massive poop. Are we really going to get like a winch and try and... Uh... I don't think repairing it's going to help. Nope. <sighs> Great. Why did I do that? I've not even found... Oh, it's so annoying. Why? Not even found the freaking garage. Oh well. Not what we can do. We are stuck. Righty then. Uh, we should have tyres now. Yes, we do. Woo! Oh yes, finally we have off-road tyres. So our previous tyres were only excellent on-road. Average off-road and poor in the mud. All-terrain, average in the mud. Good off-road, good on-road. So they're just, yeah. I think we're going to go for the big... The big full fives. Oh, yeah. Is there much difference between these? I mean, they're all 45s, but I'm not seeing any sort of direct stat improvements as such. I don't know. But yeah, we've been dying, dying to get this. So I'm, I'm, gl I'm pleased we finally got them. Big 45 tires. Yes, they're expensive, but they're definitely worth it. I want to see just how bad this, this truck is off road. Should we have a look? <laughs> Should we actually see how bad it is? So yeah, if you're purposely just on a highway, this is a great vehicle for it. But if you have to go off-road, nah. <laughs> Ain't gonna cut it. There's no differential. There's no uh, all-wheel drive. Probably gonna get stuck within about two seconds. Dangerous water already. What? Oh my god. And I'm stuck. I'm not even kidding. That's how bad it is. Should I just sell it? Like, what's the point? Oh, hilarious. Anything we can attach to? Spin! Better wheels would definitely help. But I don't think it's going to help enough. That is incredible incredible how bad that was so let's try the fleet star out just a little quick little try to see if we notice any difference i'm hoping we do these are 45 inches the previous ones were 42 and these are obviously all terrain so hopefully we notice a difference let's see let's give it a go yeah they look so much better the tires they look like they're just ready for off-roading now. I am so excited. Let's see how it copes. There's a pretty deep puddle and it just, yep. Just kept on going. Okay, I think it's definitely better. We're going at a much better pace now. This is very... It's very good. These tyres are good. Don't roll it. That's embarrassing. No, it's fine. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh. It's going too quick. That's my excuse. Oh, okay. It's so much better. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh. Uh, please start. Mwah. Mwah. If you guys could be awesome, leave a like on the video. Sorry about my um, my antics going down that cliff face. I said before, this ain't going to work. And then I 
I literally just, yeah, I'm an idiot. Thank you guys for watching though. See you guys soon and bye-byes.